everybody. I'm Ashley, I'm here at Spring Brick Farm and I'm gonna show you how we milk a cow. So first we use this dip, it's called pre-dip. It's an iodine based dip, so it's slightly red in color you can see. First we dip each teat in iodine. Then we strip each quarter and we kind of clean the teat off as we go. And then I'm going to dip them again with the iodine dip. And I'm gonna let that sit for 30 seconds to a minute. So it's been a minute, so now I'm going to wipe her teats clean and dry. It might seem like she doesn't like this very much, but once the milk machine gets on her, it's gonna feel like a relief to her. It has two different hoses. One is the pulsation hose, and you can hear it going So that is uh, squeezing the inflations. And then one is the milk hose that goes into the pipeline, and that's where the milk will go. The air, um, taking that you know, is squeezing the inflations within the claw. And there's four of them because there's four teats on her udder. It's divided into four quarters. And inside this inflation, it's acting like the calf's mouth. So it's gently squeezing milk out of her udder. So if we look at the bottom, there's a little bit of a clear plastic right here, and you'll see the milk start to flow out of each of the teeth. You can see it coming out of her teeth there, and it's gonna run up this hose into the pipeline, which is gravity fed, and it goes all the way to our storage tank, which is called the bulk tank. It's going to take her about five to seven minutes to complete uh, or to empty out her udder to complete this milking. And then this machine will move to the cow next to her. We can milk 42 cows in our barn in just about an hour's worth of time. If I were to hand milk these cows, it would take about 20 minutes to a half an hour per cow. So if you think, uh, if we're hand milking 42 cows times a half an hour, that is going to take 21 hours. The other thing that was important that I said when I was cleaning off her udder was that we wait about a minute to come back and wipe her and then put the machine on. That's because from uh, touching her udder, so it's stimulating an oxytocin release, which uh, causes a milk letdown. And the ideal timing would be 60 seconds uh, to 90 seconds after we touch their udder. And oxytocin, um, it's just a really, it's a feel good hormone. It's the same hormone that humans have. You get a hug from your mom or your grandmother or a really good friend. It makes you feel better. And that's because your brain is releasing oxytocin to, to, give, to make you feel better. Here's our cow as she is being milked. And as Ashley explained, that milk is going up here into these pipes. And we're gonna follow this pipeline down to the milk room where all of the raw milk is collected. All of that milk is coming in through the silver pipes that you see up there and going into this float tank. From the float tank, it's gonna go back into the pipes and it comes through this silver pipe here where it's also going through a filter so that it filters out any sawdust or dirt or anything else that might have gotten into the milk. And then it comes down here to our bulk tank where it gets cooled down. Our bulk tank holds about 4,000 pounds of milk. So now we are going to uh, hand milk this cow, Bonnie, here. This is the cow that many of our students have the opportunity to hand milk when they're here at Springbrook Farm. Um, so as Ashley mentioned, uh, the hormone oxytocin is now being released in Bonnie right now. That's letting her know that she can release her milk um, just by touching her udder here. Right? First thing we need to do um, is make sure that we clean her teat with iodine. Um, so I'm filling this up right here. 
And I'm going to dip, 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 dip. Next, I'm going to test um, that her milk is healthy right now, that she does not have an infection called mastitis. So I'm going to test each teeth. See that? <laughs> Whee! Looks good to me. She has clear white milk. It's not green or chunky or mucusy. It looks really good for being milked. So now I'm going to dip it with iodine one more time. All right, just wipe off that. And then I'm going to use a paper towel to just wipe that iodine right off, okay? Because we don't want any of that in our milk today. What I'm going to do is kind of make a lobster claw with my hand. I wrap it around the teeth and then I squeeze down, all right? Let it refill. If we pull out our bucket and take a look at our milk. There's a little bit of sawdust and hay in there, um, which is why it's a lot more hygienic to use the milk machines. It's faster um, and it does allow us to get much cleaner milk that we can use for our cheese. 